and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I lay my edges updated. Um, I don't do a whole lot differently to them from what I did years ago when I recorded this video. Um, yeah, not much has changed. Well, actually, some things have changed, obviously. Uh, back then, I had a whole, like a shitload of you know, postpartum hair. So I don't have that anymore. <laughs> All of my postpartum hair grew back. And obviously they're kind of tucked away inside of the lock because I just finished interlocking. Um, yeah, so again, my postpartum hair grew back and they're not as, you know, um, short, which actually is better for um, doing your edges when you have like a bunch of little short hairs. Uh, I don't have that anymore. Like they've gotten longer. And so, yeah, I don't have as many short little baby edge hairs as I did before. Because again, back then I was postpartum, but we still have a few that we could work with. And um, that's what we're going to do. So this is what I use to start. Um, just one of these, you know, y'all have seen these edge brushes, or you can use a toothbrush. Honestly, I used to use a toothbrush. I actually had an edge toothbrush. I don't know where the hell it went, but um, that was my favorite one. This is not my favorite. That one was, but again, I don't know where it went, and so, yeah, this is what we got. So we're going to work with this. Um, hold on. Oh. Spray bottle. Y'all have seen this one before, I'm sure. It's just my essential oils, African herbal oil. Um, by essential, I mean uh, rosemary rosemary and peppermint. Uh, anything else? No, that's it right now. So rosemary and peppermint is inside of this because, you know, rosemary promotes hair growth and um, peppermint, uh, what do you call it? Stimulates the follicles. So we just shake that up. And as y'all saw, very little oils up at the top. Like I don't put a lot in this. It's like 80% water, maybe 90, whatever. So <laughs> I'll just spray this. Um, usually I'll wet it like in the sink or whatever, but you know, for right now, just gonna spray it. I used to spray directly on my edges, but I feel like it gets, it gets my edges too wet. And then when I put the gel, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, uh, stick is good so and i'm gonna try to do this in the viewfinder it might not work out so good but we are gonna try so what i do is i don't separate too many of them away from it i kind of just you know whatever naturally comes away that's what i use i don't you know go super hard and try to bring all this extra out of it that won't come out of it because as i said Pretty much all of, like, y'all, if y'all remember my past videos when I was pregnant, like a few years ago, a couple of years ago, um, with my two-year-old, with my now two-year-old, yo, I'm telling y'all, my edges were gone. Like, they, I didn't have nothing. <laughs> like, I had nothing um, right here. Like, they were completely gone, in my opinion. Y'all might have looked at those videos and were like, oh, they, they were there, but nah, they were gone. <laughs> They were gone. So anyway, they grew back and I incorporated them into this lock and this lock because these are the, this was the area of my edges that, as I said, were gone. <clears throat> so again, there's not too many short hairs to come away from it. There's just a few. So I'm just going to kind of use that and I don't pull them away too much because again, I just interlocked. So I don't want to, you know, disturb that too much. So I take the um, this is the Eco Styler. Man, I've had this Eco Styler for so long. It's the Argan Oil one. And y'all see how much I've used. The little bit that I've used. Like, this is... I have half... This is half the container. And I've had this for, like, shit, maybe four years. Like, I literally barely use it. And then on top of that, I guess I'm not a perfect example. or I'm not a good example how long this could last. Because I barely do my edges anyway. So when I do do it... um. I use this, but it's far and few in between that I do my edges. So um, obviously for it to last four years, if you're like me, yes, that's great. But um, if you're doing your edges maybe all the time or whatever, then obviously it's not going to last that long. Anyway, so I will dip, I'll dip the brush in it 
I used to like dip my finger and go along here. Sometimes I still do that, but um, it depends, you know. So I kind of just brush it into it. I feel like brushing it into it kind of gives like, I don't know. I just feel like I think that's better for me. It controls it like more, you know, like controls how much goes into it and all this other stuff. So I just kind of brush it in to, um, and then I don't touch it. Like I don't touch it for a little bit. Reason being is because this eco styler, it gets tacky and you want that tackiness. So if you try to manipulate it like right away, it's, um, you're not going to allow it to become tacky and it's kind of what you want. So, but then also at the same time, you don't want to like, you know, you don't want to, um, let it dry down too much. Cause of course, then you won't be able to manipulate it at all. So once that is done, once that's kind of like brushed in, you could go all the way down here, like to the sideburns and all of that. I don't really do those too much because I mean, I usually wear my hair down. Um, so, but if you want to, I mean, I guess you could like kind of brush a little into them. I personally don't. Um, maybe if I do, I'll use like the very minimum like amount, like whatever is left over in the brush, basically. Like I don't, I don't go crazy with it. Um, because again, those are like, they're going to be covered, you know? So anyway, let me get back to this side because this one has been sitting for a while. And then I just start brushing. Like, I don't do like the crazy swoops or anything like that. I kind of just smooth it into, um, like just smooth them down a little. That's it. You just smooth them down a little. And again, as I've said, I don't have as many postpart. I mean, I don't have as many, um, I'm dipping back into it, but like I don't have as many uh, edge hairs because again, they've grown out since I'm not postpartum anymore, but I still have a few and I just kind of go like this. I mean, I don't do anything like crazy or extra rather. I mean, if you want to do extra, extra looks good too, but depending on how many baby hairs. That's another thing. It's all dependent on how many baby hairs you have or how thick your baby hairs are. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. So, and then I just kind of, literally, I just kind of like lay them where they're going to go. Like I don't really force them into any certain direction or anything like that. I just kind of, literally let them go with the flow um this side don't be working with me so i don't know i'm gonna try to try to finesse this side a little bit more um and then once this is hold on let me tie these locks back so you could see it better should have done this from the beginning that's pretty much it if you want to you can wrap it so i'm gonna go do that now like with a little satin edge wrap this i usually use it for my daughter but i'm gonna use it right now so you could just wrap it for however long you want to i don't need to wrap it for too long but that's just gonna give it an additional hold but um, so you leave that there for a couple of minutes or so and, um, I'll be back when it's done. I mean, that's pretty much it. I'll come back in about like five or 10 minutes. All right. So let that sit for a little bit and I just see what we got. And again, the end result for me personally is not to make them look super unnatural or, you know, lay them in the ways that they're not naturally going to lay. Um, or, you know what I mean, like in directions and do all these swoops and stuff like that. While that is beautiful, it's gorgeous, all of that, I don't, I just don't do that. Um, so yeah, this is what um, works for me. 
I just kind of just tame them. That's the thing. That's my goal is just to tame them a little bit, not to completely lay them so that they look silky smooth and like a texture that's not mine. Nah, like that's that's not that's not my hair, you know, like that's not my hair. That's not how my black Caribbean hair is like. That's just not what it is. So my goal, again, is just to tame it a little bit. And that's it. Stop tripping over making it look like what it's not going to look like. You know what I mean? So that is it. <laughs> that is my updated, um, I don't even want to call it edge laying. I just, I guess you would, I guess I would just call it like just taming my edges a little bit, you know? But that's what it is. <laughs> Again, I am realistic about what my hair will do. And I love that about my natural texture. Again, I'm black, Haitian. This is what my hair does. <laughs> and so, yes, that is it. This is what it looks like. And shit, it's good enough for me. So, and actually this is cute. The way I have, I literally just took like these two locks and like just tied them. I didn't even intend for this to be a style, but we're gonna keep it. And then of course, you know, Y'all know how I feel about my stretched ears and my double industrials. Yeah, it's just my thing. But anyway, I'm gonna go now because as y'all can hear, my voice is going. If y'all enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. There'll be more coming like this, vlogs and all that other good stuff. Subscribe, leave comments if you have any questions or you just wanna talk, you know, I'm, I'm here. And share this video, share it on TikTok, share it on, you know, wherever. Actually, speaking of, I'll probably turn this into a TikTok, we'll see, or make a separate one, I don't know. But I have a TikTok too, I'm gonna link it below or put it here on the screen. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one, peace.